Okay guys, uh, so today uh, I'm going to talk to you about hanging things on your wall. So some of you may have something that you want to hang up on your wall and I'm going to give you some tips on how to do that and do it the right way. If it's something really light like a picture or, or something like that, it can usually be done with one of these. This is called a picture hanger. Okay, and on a normal wall, you can put this anywhere on the wall as long as you as long as you nail it into the wall using a hammer um, and and angle that nail downward so that that hanger will stay on the wall. I'm not going to put it into this wall because I'm trying to trying not to damage it. But if you're wanting to hang something heavier, like a shelf, um, or in this case, I'm getting ready to put some cabinets in in this room. You, you need to make sure that you screw it into the wall and it needs to go into a stud. So I'm gonna tell you what a stud is. Um, behind this wall, this, so what you're looking at here is drywall. Behind this wall is a series of boards that look like this. This is called a two by four, okay? And these are what actually hold the wall up, okay? And they're placed every 16 inches behind this wall, okay? So I know they're in there. And if I'm going to mount cabinets, or if I was going to do a shelf, I want to make sure that I'm putting a screw through this wall that's going to go right into the stud. So i got to figure out where the studs are on my wall here. If you look at the wall, there's no real way to tell. The wall's nice and smooth. There's nothing, there's nothing indicating it. But there's a couple of cheats that I like to use um, that will help me find it. And number one, they make a tool called a stud finder that you can place on the wall, and it can detect studs and sit it's, it's an electronic tool that makes an alarm whenever it finds a stud. Um, we're not going to do that today. I'm going to show you guys an easier way that's a lot less expensive. Okay. Number one is there's there's kind of a way to cheat if you have if you have this available. Um, right here is uh, an outlet box. Okay. It'll later have a an electrical outlet in it. Okay. And I know that that outlet box is mounted to a stud. It's either going to be sitting like this or it's going to be sitting like this on this stud. So I know looking at this outlet box that there's either going to be a stud on this side or on this side. Okay? So that's going to give me a good reference point to start with. Okay? You might not always have that option. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little trick that I learned using a magnet to find a stud. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my magnet um, so let me explain that the drywall is attached to the studs using screws or nails, okay? They're metal. The magnet is going to be able to find it, okay? So I'm just going to take a magnet and go back and forth where I think the stud is. Whoops. It's stuck on something, but... And I just found a screw. My magnet stuck to the screw. So since I know that, the, that there's a screw right there, I can assume that the stud is right there. I'll just make a little mark. Okay, I can take my magnet off. I have a level here. I'm going to give myself a little line. Now you probably don't want to make a line this big on a, uh, on a wall that you're just hanging a picture on. A little mark would be fine. But I'm going to make a level line here, just like this. It tells me where that stud is. And then remember I said, all, uh, most houses, these studs are placed 16 inches apart. If your house was built after World War II, it probably, your studs are 16 inches apart. So I could take a tape measure from that point, from that line, and measure 16 inches over, just like that. And I can assume that there's another stud right there. Let's test it. Let's see if I can find a screw on this stud. I'm going to go back up. There we go. I found that other stud. So I know that these two studs are in, in the right place. When I go to mount my cabinets, I'll have cabinets going this way. Every 16 inches, I know that there's a stud, and I'll drill my cabinets into those studs. You can do the same thing if you're hanging a shelf or something like that. And that's how you find a stud.